Need to be said. Welcome to the Horseman Podcast, an open conversation about our podcast. Well, it is about our podcast, but more importantly, about our passions, interesting topics, and a free flowing conversation structure. Today, we're excited to bring you the season finale of season two. It seems like a long time, but a short time as well. Yeah. We are your host. I'm Josh. And I'm Greg. And welcome to the season finale. So, Josh, how's it going? It's going good, my friend. It's going good. <laughs> nice intro. Very well done. I'll give oh, you, thank you. I'll give you. I'll give you a nice, solid round of applause for that one. <laughs> um, yeah, today's episode we're going to talk about um, uncertainty. Just, yeah. But however, because we're uncertain if we're going to do a season three, yeah, this may be it. This may be it. Who knows? Who knows? We, we may walk out the door and then and it's like I hate Josh. <laughs> Or you know the world might end. The world might end. <laughs> um, no, it's it, that's the uh, uncertainty is is a ginormous topic. That's a because uh, we all get into the. I really, think the pandemic. Yeah. Had, had uh, actually put uncertainty now more in the forefront yeah, before you say that than, than uh, what was before. Mm-hmm. Um, no, continue. No, so yeah, it's that, like it's a, it's a pretty gr- it's a pretty big topic when you think about it because. You know, you go through life, and and there are <clears throat> things you know that are going to happen, and there are some things that you never predict are going to happen, and that's where the uncertainty comes in, and that's where the however part comes in. Um, you know, the big one was you know me moving out to Washington. I was like, well, well how the fuck is this thing going to go? And I was really uncertain about the future. However, look where I am. Three years later, I'm still here, and it's, it's going pretty good. And <clears throat> I've done a little bit of self reflection. Um, a little bit on the past, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's why that worked out so well. Oh, uh, okay. And it kind of leads into a path of, like, when you go in the future, it is uncertain. However, there is an ending, and you want to hope for the best, but you can only put your blood, sweat, tears into everything you have. And your soul. And your soul, yeah. You got you to sell your soul. Don't sell the soul. But the sole of your shoe? I heard it goes for about $15 billion on the back black market. The sole of your shoe? That too, yeah. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what you sell in the black market. Do you know market. that's actually where your soul is kept in your shoe? At, in the black market? No, like the sole. Like your soul is actually kept in the sole of your shoe. You just walk it on yourself all the time. I see you have a confused look in your face. That was my attempt at a really bad joke. This makes so much sense now. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes the jokes don't pan out. However, you still have to move forward. Dude, quit nipping at me. He'll, he'll... <laughs> <laughs> what a strange intro. You know, what a strange intro, right? You know, like People are just like, what the fuck is going on with these two? We are actually stone cold sober. Yeah. Believe it or not. We have been drunk throughout the rest of the podcast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not true at all. Not true at all. Not true in the slightest. Not true. Um, no, it's, but it, it is true. Yeah, the, the, but this, not true. this is going to be a very interesting topic to talk about. Yeah, um, uncertainty, however. Yeah. There's a lot of things, I guess. I mean, there's, there's I mean, to name a few of the ones that I, I, I guess when you start naming off little things. Like, maybe, I don't think there is anything to name off because everything's uncertain. Yeah. I, I, let me just. Let me go off on a rant here um, real quick. I, I don't appreciate how people are now approaching approaching uh, uncertainty. I feel um, that they're going about it as if we need to know all the answers to everything. And I feel, I feel like that is actually very hurtful for all of us because if we look at all of our own lives, sorry, I'm going to get some existential you know, mojo going in here real quick. As I normally do. The <laughs> um, <Yeah>, ever dramatic? <laughs> no, but it, I don't think I'm being over dramatic. I think mm. I think it's the ever dramatic. Oh, the ever dramatic. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, is that there are a lot of things in our life that we can either explain, and there's also a lot of stuff in our life that we can't explain as well too. As much as we want to have the answers, sometimes we just won't get them, and I think 
you know, with a lot of the tension in media now with everybody trying to find an answer to everything. It's like, what started this? What started that? Will there be an end to this? Will there ever be an end to that? I think you're just, you know, like a dog chasing its tail. Like, I know some dogs eventually catch it, but like for most of the time, it's just like, no, nah, you're just going down this ever ending rabbit hole. Mm. And there isn't necessarily like, you know, like as we talked in like previous episodes, like a threat to like keep you going by and whatever that threat happens to be is whatever you choose it to be. And I think, you know, with uncertainty, you know, that we have now, it's just like, it's okay to not know. The biggest thing is choosing to like live, mm. you know, finding, you know, what that is for you and then just full sending that. Yeah. Yeah, there is um, there is something to be said about you – know, you, you, you knocked it on the head there, the too mm -hmm. much information part um, or wanting all the details. And I, I there, there is something to be said about having a lot of details. Like you want, you want as much information going to it as possible, but you know what? Sometimes there isn't a – there isn't – like why ruin life's magic? Right. Yeah. There is sometimes there is there is a reason for having little details. Yeah. Um. And you know it's it it, it expands more than just you know knowing which you know wh what baby you're gonna have right it it goes upon it it's like you know what career you're gonna have well it's yeah it's uncertain what career you're gonna have you're just gonna have to go through life and and kind of figure that out however it also matters into what you what you put forward because you can have all the details that you want right you can yep. have as much information but if you're not going forth and applying yourself to the solution then the information is in the, the um, information remains um uh, no yeah that's a good way of putting it um, I think a lot of us, you know, we get all this information, you know, we get all these fun facts. It's like, oh, what do we do with this, you know? Mm. Um, but we don't really apply it to, oh, this would be really cool to tell at this. Oh, this would be really good to tell at that. And I think, you know, that's what hurts is now a days I feel personally that a lot of people are just holding all of this, like almost like existential aggression mm. you know because they feel like they need to know and i know like everybody's like like i need to know this i need to know that and it's my right and i think sometimes it's just like we do know the answer um however we know the sources that we want to say it aren't going to say it mm. and the best thing I think for me that I have found is I made peace with it in my own mind, in my own heart, and, you know, in my own soul. And it's just like, okay, you know, and then just keep continuing to move forward. And even though there's a bunch of uncertainty in the future, however, it's just like, I know who I am and I'm going to be that guy like for a while. <laughs> <laughs> or as long as you can keep it up <laughs> as, as long as i can keep it up right and we just keep evolving and turning you know like time keeps on slipping into the future mm -hmm. as that seal song once said you know and like as we talked about earlier in this podcast i will survive yeah. you know <laughs> i should have changed that stupid lock i should have made you give my key <laughs> if I knew one <laughs> second, you would be back to. Oh no no no! I I will survive. Yeah, there's... as long as I know how to love, I know I'll be alive. I got my whole life to live. I got my love to give. Yep. I will survive. Yep. I will survive. Hey, that's pretty. Hey. That's that's. When was the last time you saw that movie? God, a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it's pretty impressive that you still have that song stored up there. Yeah, I and I haven't listened to that song in a long time. I think it, well, well who is it? Something Gloria, Gloria. Um, yeah, yeah. I can't remember the. I yeah, can't, I can't remember, the, remember artist, yeah. the artist, but I think, you know, it's not not to get uh, confused with the uh, Bee Gees. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Staying, Staying alive. alive. Yeah. yeah. Everybody remembers that scene from The Office from that. You oh know? yeah. But no one remembers Meet the Spartans. Yeah. You know. I will survive. <laughs> yeah, it's um, – yeah, I mean at the, at the end of the day, 
when you look back at everything that's happened, there's a good chance you're going to wake up the next morning and get another shot at it. I wouldn't even say you get another shot. I think it's just a new opportunity. Yeah. You know, I don't even, like, you know, Eminem put it, you know, it's like, you only get one shot, don't miss your chance of because <laughs> opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yeah, and I think that's absolutely true. Um, and now seeing that, dude, you have a red, sorry, I got super distracted. Um, you know, all that music video from Taylor Swift all too well in the red scarf. And here I see you have a red scarf. Are you Taylor Boy? Boy, uh, Taylor there's Swift. A, there's a very, very nice story behind that scarf. I think you're Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriend that she's talking about in the song all too well. You know, or maybe it's as simple as to say it was just a kiss with gift. But you know, we can roll with that one too. That's where she gave the gift. Oh, I see. In the music video. Uh, I see. I see. You were just distracted by the red scarf. Yeah, because, dude, oh my god, like, everybody's making a big deal about it on the internet, and I just noticed that. Yeah, you know what that's a great thing about unplugging? Is there's this this certain uncertainty I have when I go on social media Mm -hmm. about, like, am I going to know what people are talking about? Like, am I going to get, like, the latest trend right now? But you know what the great thing about unplugging is? I don't have to worry about all that bullshit. It's like it's like it's it's and it's it's a very personal thing for me. It's like it's it's a very unique thing because like when I was when I was growing up, like we, we talked about the social media the, the oh, yeah. stuff before. Um, you know when I was growing up, like the I never got the trends, and the reason why I never got the trends was because I was always distracted by other things. I could never follow the latest TV show. I, I was never on like the newest YouTuber. I was never on like the latest fashion trends, all that kind of stuff, and. The great thing about me unplugging a whole lot of times with social media is that uncertainty leaves. So when I go on social media, it's more like just catching up what my friends are doing than it is trying to catch up on the what the world is doing. Because you know, when you go and attack the world, there's a whole lot of certainty there. And when you when you know your friends and, and you know that they're gonna be there for you, it's not so much you're uncertain going on social media to see what your friends are up to, it's more curiosity. And before, when I when I wasn't unplugging, it was more so, what's the world up to? Because I'm uncertain about that. Mm-hmm. And that's the that is a great, honestly, a great thing about unplugging from social media is for me on my personal stance is my uncertainty about keeping up the world has disappeared. I don't even know what's really going on in the world today. No one knows because man. I am too busy with trying to grow with my personal self. It's like, you man. All the all it, the other things get in the way of that. It sounds so selfish, but I think that is also the best solution. Yeah. Because if you take care of your own self, right, you come with solutions for other people mm-hmm. as well too. Like, and it's not directly as well either. And I think that is the beauty of life. Is like I don't know if you ever read that book, like the butterfly effect or whatever. Yeah. Um, where it's just like, you know, these guys are going out hunting dinosaurs, you know, then the dude steps on the butterfly, you know, fucks everything up as they go into the future. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and I think, you know, that is such an important thing because there's so much, you know, in the world and there's so much uncertainty. However, it's just like if you take care of, you know, your little bit of the world that you see, like everything else seems to take care and everything seems to grow and change i everybody i think nowadays wants like this sudden shift and changeover you know night and like all of this but i don't think it works that way i think it just starts by doing like small little things i don't think government like uh, just like thinking you know this is how i think personally so take it as it is i don't think government should take care of us i don't think you know like corporations should take care of us i think the person who should take care of you is you Mm. and however you decide to do that like we'll send that yeah yeah it's that's a good point um and it's 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 a really it's the uncertainty part of it is so personal and like so scary and so scary like we can only give like really our but that's that's the fun part about the uncertainty thing is that you can talk about your personal experiences, mm-hmm. and you can only listen to others. Cause like, 
that's you know, we were talking about it on the on the last um, uh, last week on the episode. We were talking about you know listening and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. there was a there was a friend I had a while back. Um, very anxious person all the time. Was nervous about everything. Uh, you know, step into a room and he had no idea how to act. No idea how to do anything like that. And he decided for about three months he was going to unplug. And he decided that he was going to go off and work on a ranch for three months in Wyoming. And he came back a completely different person. Like, And I was like asking him about his mindset. He goes, I didn't have to worry about upsetting people because all I was surrounded was animals. And the occasional person who came by to pick up things or drop things off. And when he came back, not only did he avoid almost every person that he came in contact with beforehand – he also changed. He was acting around a small group of people who he he he, he decided to hang around. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to him, and he goes, "You know, I was really uncertain about how to act around people." He goes, "But now I just don't give a fuck," because he goes, "This is this is who I am. This is this is me. Like if you don't like my if you don't like my appearance or you don't like the way I'm speaking, I was." He goes, he goes, "If I don't know you or." I'm unsure on how to react around you. He goes, I'm not going to be thinking about that stuff. I'm be thinking like, what's going on in this person's head? Like, why are they, why are they acting like this? Why are they, why are they saying something like that? And I'm not saying everyone has to unplug, but every once in a while, I think it's really important to just take a break. I think we're, I think the biggest thing is it's not necessarily like taking a break. I don't think it's necessarily unplugging. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is coming to the fact and um is that you're never going to know everything yeah and that's the biggest thing and even though we can believe whatever we want you know because it's so easy to believe but it's it's hard to accept when things are uncertain Mm -hmm. it's also i think it's hard to accept when things are hard you know um i don't think so um there's this episode of the twilight zone you know god love rod sterling right yeah you know there's this couple and they're sitting in this you know booth at a restaurant and it has you know like one of those kind of fun um it's like you put a quarter and it gives you it's not a jukebox it's a it's like one of those uh fun uh like fortune teller things oh yeah yeah yeah. those are fun those are fun yeah and they would like ask you know the question right where it's just like oh i'm so so would we get married you know and it's like i believe so and they look oh okay and i think you know this has a really good point to it because a lot of us like we're lo- and like as the episode goes on you know they become a little bit more and more dependent on this machine to tell them like their future because it's predicting it like left and right and they and they become more anxious and then at the end of the episode right you know, the man, the man, and you know, is going to be a wife. You know, uh, they're having a conversation. It's just like, do you really want to be at the will of something to tell you what's going on mm. all the time? And it's just like, yeah, I know there are some things that are unenviable, like you know, our car. You know, it broke down. We were very uncertain about that. Like, however, we're going to get through it. We're going to find a solution. You know, it's just like we can't just trust one solid thing, mm. you know, um, to dictate our life. Let's move on and, like, let's be strong and, you know, go in confidence that whatever we see in the future, we're going to put our best for, forward and let's do it together. And, you know, like the husband, you know, it's good to be husband. It's like, okay. Mm. And then they uh, took off. And then you see, like, another scared couple. They go back, and then they're just putting everything into, you know, like all their life savings into this, like, magic toy. But, like, I think that there is such great heavy symbolism in that as well, too, is it's so easy to put so much onto something you know like whether it's government whether it's media whether it's friends or families like they gotta have the answer they gotta have the answer you know um church but sometimes they just don't you know there's a lot of things that 
in our lives that we go through where it's just like moments like we cannot explain things that are very uncertain however it's what we do with that information moving forward i i sometimes i take that and i think it, they become some of the best stories but it's just like okay so get this <laughs> <laughs> you know and people are like Ooh. and it was like how did you know? It was just like, I didn't. And I was just making up as I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there, there is there is such a thing as too much information. Yeah, and I think it's easy to be overloaded with information. Um, but also as well, too, it's just like information is not always bad. It's just how we like decide to – what we decide to do with it. And I think sometimes we let information um, – dictate you know our decisions rather than ourselves because it's just like or um go away from our human instinct let me let me say that mm. um because there's this really good line in star wars right you know which one let's do um a new hope you know okay you know han solo is, or maybe it's i think no it's empire strikes back Empire Strikes Back. All um, right. Here's Hansel. Yeah. I think I think I know what you're talking about. Anyway. Yeah, the one with um, the snow hoth. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I Empire remember. Strikes Back. Right. Yep. You, he, here you have Han Solo flying through an asteroid field. Right. Mm -hmm. Boom. And then like C three PO is like the chance of surviving going through an asteroid field is like like some freaking low person is like never tell me so the math yeah, never tell me the odds <laughs> yeah, never tell me the, the odds. odds and i think you know that is very important because yeah. it's just like that's how much confidence that he had in him in him in him in himself in himself and that's how much confidence that i have in myself as well yeah too. yeah that's all yeah yeah it, and uh don't can like I, I would say this is like you know so some people might say oh it's like no he's just being cocky it's like when you have made the um what's the run what's the run he did um the castle run in less than 12 parsecs oh yeah i or think whatever. you can be a little bit confident and it's not considered cocky no i think as well too it's just like after you living life it's just like after a while it's just like you can't just like hide away yeah you know um even though like as much as we want to know something sometimes we just don't we'll never get the answer and we just have to be okay with that the biggest thing that we have to do is choose to keep on moving forward and um making the best of everything around us yeah yeah that's yeah that's that's a really really good point and you know, establishing confidence in yourself just to be able to do things. It takes that, time. It does take time. Like, that, it, this is – it's not an overnight thing. I mean, there are some things that you're like, you know what? I'm good at this. I know I'm good at this. And there are things just like, ooh, what new thing am I going to learn about X, Y, and Z today? And that, that's, a, that's like some mindsets you can have. But there are also, you know, the occasional uh, what now moments that, that you can have. And – it is uh, – I would say that using, um, using past experience uh, and the small knowledge you might have going forward is such a huge advantage a person can have going into the future. And it's just relying on not – only, not only is it relying on your confidence and not, not only is it relying on everything you've learned – it's also knowing when to either ask for help or seek out help um, with something because uncertainty is it's pretty big. And, and like we said before, you're not always going to have the information. It is such a big part of a living, a big part of living that it, when you are humble enough to ask for assistance – or just be like, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Someone help. And someone's like, well, what's going on? And you explain it. And they're like, okay, well, uh, uh, this might help. This might help. That might help. This might help. And then your brain, if you're open enough to the information, your brain can start going, well, this wire goes there. That wire goes there. This wire goes there. And boom, you save the spaceship. Yeah. And it all takes time, man. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is just like 
Just knowing, you just gotta do it. Yeah, you just gotta do it, and it's the 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 important part is everything's just push uncertain. Forward. Yeah, the big like I'm always uncertain. Like I don't know. Like I I never tell anyone I have the answers to anything because I think I'm like. I don't know, man. I just draw squiggly lines for a living. Yeah. You know? Um, and then the other way you can do it is just make bullshit up. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> and, but, like, I'm just, like, playing it straight, you yeah. know? Um, it's just, like, I we, like, we really don't know. Like, we put this podcast together, right? It's just, like, we were uncertain. We didn't know uh, what was going to happen with this, you know? Like, is it going to grow? Is it going to fail? Who knows? But... The biggest thing is just like we're trying, we're acting, you know, and it may not seem important now, but it'll be important to us later on. Mm. And I think that is one of the things that you have to like acknowledge is like whatever you decide to do with yourself, with your own life, it always comes back around to help you. Like, like for me, like this is a pretty good story. So get this. Like, back in 2019, I started to learn Spanish, you know, through the very popular app, Duolingo. Duolingo, if you're listening to this podcast right now, we would love a sponsorship. Um, Can you say that in another language they might understand? I can't say that in Spanish. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Yo quiero un sponsor de... Podcast uh, that no, doesn't sound like no habla no espanol, no comprendes <laughs> no habla señor no habla espanol señor <laughs> you don't speak Spanish that's fine but <laughs> at the time I was like on a hot streak with Duolingo doing, been doing this for six months right and you know my fellow baristas were like making fun of me and they're like why are you learning Spanish like via Duolingo you're never going it's never going to pay off. I'm like, it will. Just watch. So when I went to New York, I didn't research New York. I was like, I'm just going to go to New York. And the place that I was staying at was the Jackson Heights community. Mm. And guess what it is? A fairly Hispanic and Cuban community. So their pri first language all over there is Spanish. Mm. And my duolingo skills at the time were so primo, I could go into a restaurant and order and talk to the waitress. And it went in well. Complete in Spanish. Complete Spanish. That's pretty in, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> you know, and and it paid off. You know, and what was great is like when I came back is like, you idiots, that <laughs> Spanish paid off so quick. It's just like, I know I was dumb for not looking at the neighborhood I was Spain, but everybody there spoke Spanish. <laughs> yeah. It's just like and my dual lingual skills finally kicked in and i think that is the most important thing is no matter what you decide to do it's always going to come back around mm. um and it may not be in the way that you expect it to be but it's going to help you out yeah. the biggest thing is just trust yourself you know what to do and it's just like just treat yourself with kindness and all the uncertainty will solve itself just know it may be uncertain however gotta keep moving gotta keep moving yeah and that's kind of because like you were saying it, it comes around you know if you make a decision it, it'll come around at, at some point and um you know there's a lot of this like really small decisions that that you can make that maybe you don't think about maybe you don't you're like yeah it's probably just nothing mm -hmm. but eventually it becomes everything it becomes everything like you know you can have a conversation with someone at a at, at a bar you know, who's he's sitting outside and you and you talk for six hours and you're like, hey, there's nothing that's come from that conversation, and then the more you go to you're like that, that's not that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Um. You know that actually did happen. I was at, I was a designated driver for a couple of my friends and I was outside talking to this woman, strange woman, it was just a stranger, and she was drunk off her ass, and we had a six hour conversation about everything you could possibly imagine. The topics went from politics to religion to theories to science to education. Everything you could possibly imagine. We talked about six hours. And at that point, I was like, yeah, that probably conversation is you know, probably going to be nothing. And the older I've gotten, the more I've realized, like, that's not supposed to happen. You're, like... You don't connect. Stra strangers don't talk like that anymore mm -hmm. to each other. 
and I think it does happen. I think it's just more of a rare occurrence. Yeah. Because it's just like everybody's always on the go now. Yeah. Or and, on their phone. Or I wouldn't even say on their phone. I don't, I don't care. Um, but the biggest thing is just like a lot of people just have a lot of obligations mm-hmm. now. And to find someone, you know, that has like gone to the point, you know, for in their life where it's just like they can balance all those obligations and be able to spend the time to share that knowledge with you mm-hmm. is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah, that's – yeah, there was uh, – there was something about, um, you know, just having, like, conversations with people and, like, kind of being uncertain about where the conversation is going to go. And, you know, like, five, ten minutes in, if, like – there there's been a few times where it's been, like, five, ten minutes in, I'm like, this actually might turn out to be a half bad – not not half bad conversation. And then 30 minutes later, you're like – Wow, I'm really glad that I stuck around. Yeah. You know, and it's it, it it is that feeling where it's like if you give it a shot, maybe it, you know, maybe it turns out bad, but maybe it turns out good. And um at the end of the day, we usually find out we're not really strangers. Yeah. We have I think we have a lot more in common than we than we have um things that we disagree yeah there's i think there's a lot of people out there who don't realize they have so much more in common with everybody else yes and all they have to do is talk it's just talk just converse just converse no agenda yeah just actively listen like we were saying don't wait for your chance to respond Mm -hmm. and try to relate yeah there's with all the uncertainty it's just like shit might as well listen, you know. It's like, let's see what this guy has to say. Right. <laughs> so, like, what's the oh, harm right. in it? Like, I mean, if you're just sitting there, like, just listening to someone, it's like, what's the harm in having and just listening to someone, right? Um, you know, there was, you know, in, in past friends that I've had, it was like, oh, you don't want to listen to that person. Why not? Well, they just, they, just say, they just say bullshit. And I'm like, but I've never heard them speak before. I don't know what they're talking about. And then, well, well, there's just bullshit. I'm like, well, I mean – I get it that you have like this personal thing, but I don't know what this person's trying to say. I have to listen to what they're trying to say first. And we are all smart enough that we can make an educated decision on our own. Yeah. Whether or not it's bullshit. Sometimes it's just a complete misunderstanding yeah. of information because I know sometimes when I try to talk movies and the Adobe with people, that stuff flies over their heads. And I'm like, oh, whoops. You know, so they're like, can you shoot that? Yeah. I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, wow. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's incredible. Those, yeah, there, there are some things where, like, you can just get in a conversation with someone and, and it just, right over their head. And they're just like, what? And, you know, you get, that's, that's I think. That's okay because yeah. I think that's what brings so much magic into the world. Even though there's so much uncertainty. However, there's so much beauty, like, mm-hmm. beyond, you know, what we can possibly imagine. As we grow older, I know our senses are growing sharper, you know. Our experience just gets that much deeper. And it's just, like, the biggest thing is to not allow ourselves to turn off. Mm. And, you know, we got to keep continuing to engage. And with that being said, I think that's a good way to wrap up you know season two yeah um thank you guys so much for for listening to all the uh episodes we had out um we uh deeply appreciate all the engagement that you guys have done too yeah we're uncertain about a season three however we'll keep you updated (laughs) stay tuned (laughs) stay tuned um uh, go ahead and follow us on our socials so you guys stay up to date with uh everything that we're gonna be doing um you want to do uh shameless plug into anything uh people should be looking out for in the future um i'm not going to plug anything i think the biggest thing you know that we talked about this season is take care of yourself yeah um mental health is a serious issue mental health is a serious issue um take care of yourself be strong with yourself Mm -hmm. grow confidence with yourself and know that we support you on your journey even though we may not know you personally just know that there are people out there that are cheering you on um even though it may not be directly like yeah you know it's just like we seriously absolutely only want the best for you yeah and that being said season two comes to an end um it's a good season and uh you know who knows 
Um, season three may be just around the corner, or it may take a little while. But we encourage you to, stick, um, to check out all the rest of the stuff that uh, Greg has on his channel, and uh, all the rest on um, on mine. We have um, a bunch of different stuff that uh, ha are on various of our different uh, channels. Social media is just. Yep. Uh, we just trust you. Like, yeah. if you want to look at it, look at it. If not, yeah. that's okay, too. <laughs> Biggest thing is take care of yourself. Everything may seem uncertain. However, I think we're all doing okay. We're all doing all right. So with that, I'm Josh. And I'm Greg. And we are the Horseman Podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching Season 2. Thank this all sure. needed to be said. And uh, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Have a good one. See ya. Love you.